Alice the Coding Kid here. Today, I'm going to try and create a P5.js optical illusion in five minutes. You can edit P5.js using the P5 web editor or watch my tutorial on how to get P5 working with Visual Studio Code. A link to both of those will be in the description below. All right. Let's get started. I'm going to start the timer in three, two, one, go. Okay, cool. So, first things first, I'm going to change the canvas um, dimensions to window width and window height, which are P5 variables for the window width and the window height. And that'll make the canvas full screen. Next, I'm going to change the background color to blue a really really dark blue which is more like black and then i'm going to change the angle mode from radians to degrees um and the reason i'm doing this is because the default mode is radians and radians are really hard to work with in my opinion cool and then i'll just i'll change the rect mode to center and that'll align all the squares to the center and then I'm going to draw a square. Um, square. Okay, so the square will be at the center, which is width over 2 and height over 2. And I'm going to give it a size of 100. There we go. It's nice. Um, and it's in the center. Okay. Uh, next, I will change the square style. Um, I'm going to remove the full. And th that's quite important for this effect. And I'm going to change the stroke to white. And maybe make the stroke a bit thicker. So stroke white 3. Cool. Uh, next. Let's rotate the square. Uh, let's rotate it by milliseconds. Which is the number of milliseconds since starting the sketch. Oof. It's rotating around the wrong point. Actually, it's rotating around 0, 0. And we actually want to move that to the center. So we want to move the origin to the center. And the way we can do that is by translating to the center, which is width over two and height over two. And then we will draw a square at zero, zero. But now the zero, zero has moved to width over two and height over two. Oh, and there is our spinning square, but it doesn't really look like a square. It looks more like a circle because it's rotating so fast. So I'm going to divide the mullies by 20. Actually, maybe 10. 10 is a bit better. Cool. Uh, then I will draw multiple squares. So 4, let i be assigned to 1, i is less than or equal to 3. And then I'll move this in here. Here we go. Now we got these spinning squares, but I'm going, I actually want them to be isolated because um, rotating is accumulative, so it keeps rotating by more and more and more. But I want to isolate this so that the rotation doesn't affect anything else. Cool. Now you can only see one square because there's no offset, so I'm just going to multiply this value by t i. Cool, um, now we can see multiple squares. But still, the sizes are the same, so I'm gonna change the size to i. Ooh, that's way too small. Okay, maybe i times 10, now i times 30. That's better. Uh, and then, uh, let's see. Okay, and then I will add some more squares. Maybe 10, ooh, that's too many. Seven, seven looks good. Ooh, and now we've practically completed the shape of this. Now let's add the colors. Let's see if we can add the colors in one minute and 20 seconds. Okay, so to add the colors, I'm going to use HSL colors. So to use them, I'm gonna set the color mode to, to HSL in setup. And then uh, I will change the stroke. To, instead of white, I'll make it 0, 50, and 100. Or actually 0, 150, and that should be red. Uh, nope, <laughs> I set the color mode to HTML script element. Ah, oh, okay, there we go, there's our red. But um, it's not actually changing, so let's change that to mullies. Ooh, and that went way too fast, so maybe over 10. Perfect. And we have 42 seconds 
Oh, no, but it stopped at 10. Okay, I see. We can fix that by using cosine because um, cosine will return a value from minus 1 to 1 and we'll keep alternating. Uh, but that didn't work because we have to map the cosine from minus 1 to 1 from 2, 0 to 360. Minus 1 to 1, 0 to 360 because that's what the first value of HSL goes from. Oh, yeah, let's divide by 20 and we did it in time. Now let's take a look at what the solution would look like in full screen mode with 14 squares instead of 7. And there we have it, a cool hypnotic effect. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.